Hi, everybody. I've spoken at a lot of events over the years, including some with pretty impressive lineups, but I've never been part of the same program as Pope Francis Blackpink and SpongeBob SquarePants. I am a little starstruck, but the fact that all of them are part of this, along with a lot of other folks, should tell you how important this fight against climate change really is. Of course, you already know that. You see it in the reports about 100-year floods, or record-breaking wildfires, or severe droughts. Many of you are feeling the effects of climate change every day, and if we don't do something about it, things will only get worse. Now, the easiest thing to do would be to throw up your hands and hope that somebody else solves the problem. That's what some people in my generation have done, but I don't think you're going to do that. And here's why. When you look at the history of so many social movements, whether it's the civil rights movement or decolonization around the world or anti-war movements, they're often started and sustained by young people. That's because you understand what Dr. King called the fierce urgency of now. You don't see the way things are and assume that's the way they'll always be. You can imagine something different and you're willing to put in the work to make it happen. That's what makes me hopeful about the fight against climate change. Through the Obama Foundation, I've had the chance to meet folks like you who are helping to protect our planet. And what I've been so impressed by is the fact that you are waiting for the people who got us into this mess to dig us out. You're doing it yourselves. Even if you're not old enough to vote, you're knocking on doors for candidates who will take action on climate change, and then holding them accountable. You're demanding that companies start being part of the problem and start being part of the solution. And you're encouraging friends, family, and anyone else you know to join the movement. All of us have to find our own path to service. No one can do it for you. But if enough young people make their voices heard, that's how progress gets made. That's how things move forward, even on a problem as big and complicated and difficult as climate change, maybe especially on a problem like that. So just like you wouldn't let your grandparents pick the music you listen to or the clothes you wear, don't let anyone else decide your future. Put yourself out there. Take a risk. Imagine a better future and help. Make it real because the world is counting on you. I'm counting on you. SpongeBob and Blackpink are counting on you. And there's no time to waste. Oh.